Well, joining us now is Chief Political Commentator at The Independent, John Rentoul. Let's see if he's got anything positive to say about the budget, because we're struggling to find anything. John, what's your take? <laughs> well, if, if I could just burst your, um, your small state bubble and, uh, and endorse what, uh, what uh, Norman Lamont uh, said. I mean, we've got to remember, he's the last uh, Chancellor who delivered a, an election-winning budget in 1992 uh, by uh, undercutting uh, the Labour offer with a tax cut that was uh, tilted towards the low pay. Um, I think you should listen to what he has to say a bit more closely. Uh, why? <laughs> well, because he, he, was, he, he was said, right. he he said oh, it's really tough times, so you've got to feel sorry for the yes. Chancellor. No, no what, he said, what he said you know, was... He said the cost, no. of, it's the cost of COVID. The cost of COVID was their yes. fault, as Isabel quite rightly said. The COVID didn't necessarily cost anything. The government's response and that ludicrously long furlough scheme damn well did, so it's their fault. Yes. And he rightly pointed out that that was what the people wanted and then uh, that no, people are going to have to pay didn't. for it. Uh, yes, Who they did. They, they supported. It? They supported that. They supported the lockdowns and actually wanted they them did to be not. more severe, to last longer, uh, and to and to come in earlier. That is, that is that's what what people wanted, and they knew that they were going to have to pay for it in the in the in the long oh, run, yeah, and that's sure. what uh, that's what we are now. <laughs> that's what we are now doing. Didn't now, receive the, a penny during COVID, I, and yet I'm paying for it now. That, like, brilliant. The problem uh, you right-wing uh, right commentators, you come on here supporting the <laughs> Tories all the time. What's the matter with you? <laughs> well, actually, the problem that I had with the, with the budget was that the tax cuts in it mm -hmm. uh, were not tilted towards the, towards the low paid in the way that uh, oh. Norman Lamont did in 1992. Uh, the cut to national insurance will benefit in cash terms uh, people on higher incomes. And the cut to the changes to the child benefit withdrawal um, which is a complicated thing introduced, of, of course, by George Osborne. I mean, most of this this government uh, is concerned with undoing its own mistakes or undoing the mistakes of yeah. previous Conservative governments. Uh, Jeremy Hunt is going to, is now going to undo George Osborne's mistake in uh, in in taking away child benefit from from higher earners. He's going to make that uh, make that a bit easier, uh, but it is another tax cut. Uh, for the better off, I'm afraid, and I think that's why the uh, why the Tories deserve to lose the next election. As a veteran and excellent journalist, John, what would be your main headline on this budget? Well, it was it was tax cuts for the better off. Um, it was a Tory a Tory budget, uh, as Norman Lamont said, making the best possible use of rather limited uh, room for manoeuvre. Uh, and I think actually just buying time for what I I expect is going to be another another budget at the end of the year. A, a pre-election budget, which will be another tax giveaway. And what was announced today that was markedly different from what was announced on the 22nd of November in the autumn budget? Well, there, there was the further cut in national insurance, which, yeah, I mean, that does amount to a, a very substantial cut taken taken together, four, four pence in the pound uh, of off earnings. Uh, but you're quite right, there was very little uh, unexpected in the budget. The only thing I think, the only substantial thing, uh, was the changes to the, uh, to, to the child benefit withdrawal uh, system. And uh, does it, John, uh, this budget, does it have the potential to change the direction of political travel? Uh, is it possible yes, because... that it could dig the Tories out of a hole or at least slightly improve their chances well, at the next up, election? Uh, up to a point, in, because, because, because the, the, the other significant thing, which I mean, both of which were advertised in advance, the other two significant things, uh, were uh, the Tories uh, stealing Labour's uh, revenue-raising options. They're not the abolition of uh, non-DOM status uh, and extending the uh, windfall tax on oil and gas. Companies. I mean, those are two things that that, 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 that Labour were relying on to produce them uh, revenue to to fund their manifesto promises. Um, they're not actually the, the, the Conservatives are not actually putting up the rate of the windfall tax in the way that Labour wants to do. They want to raise it a, another three percentage points, uh, but they are extending the duration of it, and so that reduces the amount of revenue that a Labour government would have uh, from that source. John, thank you Thanks, ever John. so much. John Rentoul of Independent there.